Hey, it's Jay, and welcome back to Channel Legends. So, the new Kung Fu Panda DreamWorks crossover is now finally in Brawlhalla. After a few weeks of you know them teasing it and showing off tidbits and stuff, and us you know wondering what it is, we finally have the actual characters and designs. And I gotta say, I really like how everything looks like. This crossover is one of the cleanest looking crossovers I've seen so far. Like, there were, we had good crossovers in the past, you know, Ben 10, Steven Universe, Adventure Time. There were, those were really good looking crossovers, but this one really looks like really dope. And surprisingly, these actually do fit really well into the whole Brawlhalla mythos and things like that. Now, I gotta say, there's some stuff that I genuinely do love about this crossover first i like like some of the locking animations they look like really really great and some of the idle animations as well those look really nice especially tylon's locking animation where he busts out and like he's ready to beat some shit out of somebody yeah I, I like that whole vibe and also like the characters they chose for the crossovers you know tylon's mordex Wushong also fits very well for Po and Asuri naturally is going to be Tigress. Those crossovers match up decently. I do however wish like we had like the whole Furious 5. I know that may have been a bit of a reach for BMG to do but at least give us Monkey or Ugwe. I, I would have appreci appreciated that but these are looking really good. Uh, the signatures Tigress's signatures look really good and I like you know the incorporation of the other members of the Furious 5 you know Snake, Mantis, Monkey into the whole signature look of the other characters. Um, Paul uses um, Crane and Mantis in his and Monkey and Viper is used in Tigress's and that looks really nice and Tylon, Tylon looks really awesome and obviously it's the, his design sticks canonically with his power set in the movie where he had this blue energy that could disable people so i guess they kind of carry that over onto his character in game which looks really cool also the shifu ko effect the shifu ko effect that looks really dope i like the whole catching the dumplings thing that looks really awesome and that kind of goes back to the way he trained poe to you know become a better fighter and all of that which is really awesome yeah so this my, my thoughts on this is that this is a really awesome crossover i really like how everything looks i really like how clean the animations are bmg and the animation team have really you know outdone themselves like can we just give a big round of applause to them for making such awesome designs and choosing proper characters and yeah if you like this crossover tell me what you think about it in the in the comment section leave a comment you know tell me what you think about it and if you have the ability which one of them if if not all of them which one of them do you plan to buy personally if i could buy i would definitely go for po because i i like wushang wushang is a decent character and i'm not really like a scythe person but mordex tylung's mordex would be a decent pick for me as well also giveaway still going on if you're interested uh link is in the description for the giveaway if you're still interested in that giving away meta devs uh weapon skin and character skin so if you are interested click the gleam.io link in the description and be a subscriber and you're entered a uh, few more days left on it so if you are interested uh hurry up and get your entries in and yeah hope you guys are doing great and check you guys in tomorrow's video peace